Hey friends, it's Missy with the Shimmers Education Team and I'm back today with a new layout. And I just want to remind you, like always, if you are shopping online at the Shimmers website and you leave my name in the comments, then you can get a surprise freebie paint. So I'm going to just show you what I did for this layout today. It was sort of an experiment and I liked the way it turned out, so I went with it. I had some white cardstock out and a couple of days ago I was um, experimenting with some die cuts on my Silhouette Cameo and I cut a lot of flowers in black cardstock and I really want to use these on a project, I just haven't done it yet. And I believe this is a floral cut file, cut file from the Just Nick Studio. I can look that up. I can't think of the name of it right off the top of my head. But if you want to know the name of it, I will let you know. What I thought I would do is sort of a masking technique here and just place this really cute flower down and then take some shimmers and sort of make a, a messy outline and just paint over it. And so you're going to see the shape of the flower with white in the middle. So it's going to look different than the actual cut file and it's going to leave a little artsy messy flower and I just was like I said experimenting with this and I really liked the way it turned out and so I went with it. So I've got a lot of different colors over here for this entire layout I used creamies and inklings and so I picked out a lot of greens and pinks um, an orangey color and some corals there because I wanted this to be kind of a, a rosy colored layout and when I think of roses I think of deep pinks I didn't really want reds but I think of you know deep pinks with a little bit of light pink and some coral pinks just different shades of pink and so when I pull this up look how cool that looks I love how that turned out it looks different it's not realistic but I like that it looks kind of drawn on you know and you can see the white through all of those shapes and so I do this for several of these flowers and the good thing is I can still use the die cut it didn't ruin it um, I'm not using a ton of water here um, and I'm gonna let you know all of the different colors that I've got going here I've got three different greens that lime green color is a creamies and it's called lettuce get together I love using this one for anything um, leaf related or spring or summer it's just the perfect green I've got two darker greens. The one at the top is an Inklings and it's called the Holly and the Ivy. And then the one below that is a Creamies. And this is one of the newer green colors and it's called Jolly Green Giant. And so I just wanted three different shades of green to kind of give the leaves a little bit of different, you know, so it's not just one flat color. And I just added water to each of the pots, gave it a few minutes, stirred it up, and the paint was ready to go. Now I've got lots of pinks here. I've got two of the brand new colors one is an inklings there's two hot pinks there at the top the first one is an inklings and it's called hot stuff and then the one underneath that is the creamies and it's called one hot mama and those two colors are the most beautiful pinks i think i've ever seen i love the way they look i love the way they dry so so gorgeous right underneath that i have creamies in good old summertime and then underneath that, the yellowy orange color is a new creamies, and it's called Dandelion, and it is gorgeous. It's an, a deep orangey yellow, very, very pretty. And then I thought about using some blue, and I actually do, but I wind up covering it up so you can't see it. But the blue color that I have there is an aqua hues, and it's called Blue Me Away. And the aqua hues were discontinued, so I don't think this one's available anymore. But um, I thought about adding some aqua or turquoise to this, and then once I saw it on there, I just wasn't in the mood for blue, which is weird because you know me, I love me some blue. But I wind up covering it up, and that's okay. And then I have two colors over on the right that I also use. These are older ones, Creamy's Grapefruit and Creamy's Piggy Pink. And so you can, you know, let me know if you have any questions about any of those colors. They're all gorgeous and mixing and matching them like this is my favorite thing to do. So as you can see here, I'm just continuing to make my background here and uh, I'm just adding flowers. I'm trying to overlap them and kind of just create a little floral cluster. And I'm toying with the idea between two different pictures. I really like this picture of me and my daughter at the pool. But then I bring in the color, uh, the blue color, like I said, and that's, that's the dilemma that I was going for here. Do I want to add blue to this or do I want to keep it with the pinks and the greens? And I wind up using the other pictures that don't have any blue in them. 
Now this was very easy to do. It was a lot of fun. You can't really mess this up because it's supposed to be kind of messy. You just paint over the die cut and peel it up and then you've got a cool shape. And I didn't add any gesso or anything like that to my background. Um, I just went for it and I didn't use a lot of water so my paper didn't really warp at all. Um, yeah, so I just kind of made a mess here and got it on my arm. Did you see that? Yeah, don't stick your arm on top of the wet flower because you will get paint on your arm. And that's okay because I had a cool flower on my elbow. It's a shame no one else saw it but me. Well, you guys saw it, but no one in real life. So I kind of have it done. Um, I'm going to go with these pictures. And I've actually had these pictures on my desk for a long time. I think I've already scrapped them in my past. Um, I don't know why I had another copy. I can't really remember. It doesn't matter. I'm going to scrap them because Paige was a little tiny thing and I, she was sucking her thumb, which she still kind of does when she goes to sleep, but she was little here. She was, I think, three and um, I just picked her up and she started to cuddle with me and she, she laid her head down on my shoulder while she was sucking her thumb and she just looked like my precious little baby. And so I, uh, yeah, could scrap these kinds of pictures all day, every day. So I'm going in and making this a little more messy and uh, me, I guess you could say, and just adding some splatters and a couple of the different colors there and dabbing it up with my napkin. And you know, you could do this with, you don't have to do this with flowers. You could do this with any type of shape. You could just do a circle, you know, punch some circles and paint around the circle. And then you're going to have a white circle and then all this color around it. And so there's a lot of different ideas. I hope you're getting some ideas going through your mind watching this because you know how many die cuts and cut files there are out there you could do this with. So I'm going to kind of situate my pictures just like that. I'm going to stack them on top of one another and they're kind of crooked. And I hate to cover up some of these flowers, but you know, that's the nature of a scrapbook layout. Some of it's going to get covered up. And I think if I would have planned this a little bit better, I might have not centered this, but I was just playing around and I just went with it and made it work. And, uh, you know, the good thing about scrapbooking is you can do the whole thing over again and change it and just, you know, you don't have to throw it away. Like, I wasn't in love with the placement of this, uh, but I made it work and I wind up really liking it and I think it's fine. So I'm going to add some thread. You know I love my thread. I've got the colors that I've got on the background. I've got some darker pinks, some lighter pinks, some of that orangey yellow color, and some green. Then I kind of struggled with what to add to this. Um, when I make layouts, I call these layouts from scratch, when you just kind of start with white and go. Then I'm kind of troubled with, well, what collection do I go to? Uh, what do I need to add to this? And I wasn't sure where I was going to add a title, if I was going to add, well, of course I was going to add a title, but I wasn't sure where. Um, so I pulled out the Sunshine and Happiness collection, which I believe was from last year from Simple Stories, and it worked great. I fussy cut a couple of multicolored stripes and tucked it in on the top and the bottom, and then I fussy cut out that sun. And then I'm going to fussy cut out this word amazing. I wind up not using it, but I do wind up using some of the embellishments. And the reason I use sunshines so much on layouts about Paige is because that's, that's um, her nickname at school. Her teacher started calling her that several years ago. And so she's just little sunshine. And so I think it's so cute. And it just sort of, it's, a, it's an easy embellishment to incorporate. And it makes sense because, <laughs> you know, that's just her little nickname one of her many nicknames. So now I'm just playing around with a lot of different simple stories things. I've got stickers, die cuts, chipboard. Um, I'm going to add in some of those flowers that you see there. There's are a combination of chipboard and die cuts. And they just match. I like adding in the yellow. And there really isn't any yellow, like true yellow on the background. It's more of an orangey yellow. And so I thought I could add in a little bit of yellow uh, with the embellishments. And so this part was, was, you know, kind of fun, but it was also tricky because I didn't want to add too much because the flowers are busy in themselves and um, I didn't want to, you know, make it overkill. So I struggled with the title. I wasn't sure what to do. I think I've used the word sunshine on so many layouts in so many different ways, but that's okay. You know, you can reuse a title. There's no title police that's going to come out and, uh, tell you that you can't do that and you know it's your album it's your layout so what if you use the name again um so i'm gonna go 
with precious sunshine because I look at these pictures and I kept looking at them thinking, you know, what what word comes to mind when I look at these? And I was like, she's just precious because she's she's just this cute little thing and she had her pigtails going on and she was running around and she just wanted me to hold her and she started sucking her thumb and gave me that little baby look and I was just like, she's just precious. So I'm going to cut that die cut and uh, use that as my title. And she's eight and a half now and she still has baby soft cheeks. I kiss them and smooch them all the time and she actually lets me. And so I'll probably do it until <laughs> until she can tell me to stop because uh, I do it a lot. And I like it because her cheeks just still feel like a baby's butt. They're so soft. Anyway, I'm going to go and add my journaling and a couple of little flowers down there at the bottom for a little cluster. And I did a little machine stitching through the word precious. And then I decided I needed some clouds. So I cut a couple of small, just plain white, messy, random clouds. And I keep cutting them smaller and smaller because they were just too big. And they're subtle because they're white and it's kind of a tone on tone thing. You can kind of see the outline of it and the shape of it, um, but it's not distracting. It's not, doesn't really add to the busy factor of the page. Just gives a little something kind of a, it winds up being kind of a diagonal design between the bottom and then going up to the top right. I didn't really plan that. It just sort of happened. And sometimes this is a good thing when you just decide to go for it and you just start to do it and glue stuff down and not overthink it because I overthink things all the time. And so this was fun to just kind of go for it, go for it and glue it. And I like it. I did a little bit of thread behind that first cloud there just to give it a little bit of depth and I curled up the edges and that's it. There's the final layout. I love how this turned out. I think it's super cute. It was a lot of fun. I love that masking technique with the flowers and the paint. I highly recommend you try that. If you've got some shimmers or some paint, give it a try with whatever shape you want and uh, see what kind of messy artsy look you can come up with. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you check out shimmerspaints.com for all the colors. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the different styles of paints and sprays and uh, paste that they have. I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Have a great day.